Aku di sini semua sejak tahun lalu. Wah. Wah, ane buat ane dilai teks. Hello, old days. There was traffic everywhere, deadlock everywhere. Okay, it's cheap here. I thought that this guy is not fit for that position. What position? What are you talking about? What position? Oh. Oh, Mr. James, Chief, ask me, sir. You're here. What kept you? So there was traffic. It was really bad. I see. You see, this was supposed to be an in-house presentation with all the staffs in attendance. But as you can see, I'm already late for an appointment. I have to meet up an appointment with my dear wife. But all the same, sweetheart, do you have the letter? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, Chief, I am really sorry for the delay, okay? It's not going to happen again. Congratulations. You have been appointed by the management of this company as AGS director. Congratulations. What's <laughs> What? Chief! <laughs> what? <laughs> this is, this is, thank you very much, Chief. Thank you so much. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Man, as a my tenacity and my obsidiousness, I guess, brought me this far, okay? And to you, my colleagues, I thank you very much. This is actually for us. Without you, I don't know what to say. But Chief, thank you very much. You're a good man, and I really appreciate this. I won't disappoint you, I promise, sir. I will make sure I am up to the task. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dad. God bless you, Chief. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Congratulations. Thank you. Seriously, Jude, how did you emerge AJ's new director? It, it baffles me, really. <laughs> it's called grace, bro. Oh, please, don't be too spiritual. Huh? I know when you started working with Chief, all right? You know how many times I wrote to his company as to be employed as the company's lawyer. You and I started this game, okay? We all started this together. It's just that my CV was turned down. Well, I guess my... Struggles affected a lot of growth at AGS. I mean, there was no way I could have bribed every member of the board of directors. <laughs> it's impossible. Anyway, I understand you. Congratulations, all the same. Thanks, bro. Well, um, I'm so famished. Um, did your wife cook anything at home? Since when did you start eating at people's houses? <sighs> Today. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> now. Okay, uh, let's go. I guess you cooked something. Oh. <laughs> He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and so says all of us. <laughs> I am inquisitive as you are. Um, darling, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you about it. <laughs> um, okay. You should have some too. <laughs> okay. Um, I just thought I should organize a little congratulatory party for my dear husband. <laughs> you know, the award and the position is not something to come by so easily. So, congratulations, darling. <laughs> Bye. 
<laughs> did you know about this? I... I don't Barry, know did you know about this surprise? Um, of course he yes. does! You know that he rushed me to come back home if there was food at the house? Oh, come on! <laughs> you should know, Barry. He doesn't even visit. Talk less of eating out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I actually called him, so we planned all this together. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, ladies, I really appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much. I'm really amazed by this. <laughs> So, um, let's go in and have drinks and party. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, I'll but you. he's the jolly good <laughs> Hello! Oh, you have more wine for me to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What are you trying to do? It's my celebration, right? Oh, yes, it's your celebration, but not this one. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be with her, right? We just go in there, take a bath, and then <laughs> when they're all gone, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so just go take a bath. Put it on for that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, why are you turn me on? I love the way you flip me up Hello? 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 Am I speaking with Mr. Jude? Yes, this is Jude. Um, as in now? Yes, it's urgent and very important. You don't want to keep the chief waiting. Well, I'm in the middle of something. Can't it wait till like maybe like later in the day? This is one of the responsibilities you have to incur as a new AGS director. But excuse me, it's a Saturday. I'm meant to be spending family, like quality time with my family. As a new AGS director, you don't have Okay, if I may ask, who am I speaking with? Anybody home? Where's my bed? Hello? Jeez. Welcome, handsome. Hi, Sandra. My name is Jude, not handsome. <laughs> Welcome. Sit. Please stick around. Uh, tell them I'm here, okay? And I'm in a hurry, please. 
<laughs> Mr. Jude. The AGS director. And he's in a hurry. Come on. Take a seat. Thank you. Jude. Jude, the new AGS director. Hmm. From nothing to something. You didn't think you worked hard and got the position. Really? Come on. At least just give me a little appreciation. Hmm? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Oh, I get it. <laughs> you're afraid of chief, right? Not to worry. Not to worry. Chief is all the way in Abuja and he won't be back till about 6 p.m. So you see, we have the whole house to ourselves. So maybe you can start by touching my book. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but um, I am a married man married to a good woman. Infidelity is not my thing, okay? So if you don't mind, Hey, 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 hey. Is this what I get for talking to my husband to give you that position? Oh, I, I get it. <laughs> You're worried about the staffs. Not to worry. I sent them away. So you see, we have the whole house to ourselves. Good. I'm suffering. I'm dying in this house. No sex. All I get is trips, shoes, clothes, money. Real sex is what I need. And even when I do it once in a blue moon, and he's a two-minute man. What with you, baby? Mm. Baby, just touch me. Great, right? Is everything okay? 
Yeah, sure. Everything's okay. I hope it's not the issue of this childbearing because I... No, no, it's not. Okay. I'm just thinking about work stuff. Yeah? It's, it's not that. Good evening, sir. Yeah, sir. Welcome home. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, where, where is my beautiful queen? I'm um, sir, I haven't seen her this evening. Boy, I'm sure she's in the room. For sure. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching my back. My oh, pleasure, sir. For you. What are you doing here? Come on. What happened? Why are you crying? What happened? Chief. I've been sexually molested. What? We won't tolerate this kind of nonsense in this company, okay? As soon as everything is settled, we have to restructure and get this, okay? Right in the positions, right? Chief. So sorry, I'm You came when you were needed. What? Sexual harassment? Sandra! Sir, listen, you must believe me, okay? Okay, yes, I was at your house, but nothing happened. Young man, listen to me. If you know what is good for you, go in there and pack everything that belongs to you and leave my company. And I'm sure the only thing that belongs to you here is just your stupid self. Leave my company now! As soon as we get everything tidied up, okay, we will restructure, okay, and everything will back in place, right? Yes, sir. Fine. So, first off, I received a phone call from someone saying that Chief needed me at his apartment and there was an emergency meeting. On getting there, I see Chief's wife, Sandra, who then claims that she was the one who made the phone call and she was demanding for sex from me. Claiming that she convinced Chief to make me the AGS director. 
Well, it's all good. From all indications, I knew you didn't deserve that job. It's fine now. You lost it. Greg. Oh, yes. I don't care about the position. But the truth is, I did not oblige to her demand. And I walked away. But now this. I can't believe this. What have I done to you? Why be so mean? Hey, 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 watch your mouth. You can't just come here and talk to your boss's wife rudely. What is it? Sandra, because of you, I have been sacked from my job. On grounds of me molesting you sexually. How, Sandra? How? Oh. The instruction was to get you sacked and jailed. I guess you got lucky. But why? Why, Sandra? Why? Did you say why? I am a world-class beauty queen. A top model. The desire of every living soul. How dare you? How dare you turn down my sexual advances? It wasn't even as if I was going to take you away from your wife. I did you a huge favor. A favor I never asked for. Sandra, please, I am begging you, okay? Please, call your husband and tell him the truth. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Listen, if you don't leave this premises right now, I am going to press charges. Hi. I'm sure you know what that means. Sandra. Oh, there's no problem, Dr. Fatuba. Yes, no problem. No problem, I will get all that settled. You will get all the documents required. Yes. In fact, I'm going to be with the bank manager tomorrow. I'll make sure he forwards you all the required documents. Okay? Yes. Uh, no problem, I'll be with the bank manager by tomorrow. Yes, and... Uh, Yes, you get all, all complaints, okay? Five million dollars. <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem, Doc. Yes, I will, I, will, I will do all that. I will arrange with the bank manager and you get all the required documents, okay? Yes, the money and the documents, they will get to you. All right, all right, I'll see you. You will get it, okay? Yes, I'll get back to you. All right, thank you. Honey, what's the problem? Chief, is it not that riffraff that assaulted me again in the office premises? Who? Is it not that idiot? That thing that we picked from nothing to something? Who is that? Jude. Jude. Again? Again? No, 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 no. I think I have to take care of this boy's nonsense once and for all. Hello? Yes. Is that the Commissioner of Police Office? Darling, you returned from work so early today. What happened? What happened? 
Um, I had an impromptu meeting that got cancelled, so I decided to take the day off. Oh, okay. And she must be very hungry, right? I'll just go in there, make lunch for us, all right? Hey, and take it easy on that, Jane. You know how much damage you can do to the liver, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh. What's this? You lost your job. Sexual harassment. Jude. Jude, what happened? I mean, Jude, I'm talking to you. What happened? Please. Tell me. For now. Sexual. Listen to me, okay? If you could only hear me out, just give me a minute so I can explain everything, okay? Because I am innocent. I know. When you get to the station, you explain all that, all right? It's fine. Let's go. What? Uh, um, good evening. Yeah, good evening, brother. Um, and who are you two? Well, we're from the state's police department, Area E. And this one right here, the fires, Mr. Jude, is being invited to the station for question. So just go. What? Um, sorry, can you just explain what happened Babe, to me, please? Listen, just call Barry, okay? Call him now, please. Okay. I don't do these things you guys Yes. What is it? I mean, are you, babe, I just babe, need babe, to babe, know babe, what listen, the problem is. No, listen is. to me, listen to me, ah. listen to me. Okay. Carol, listen to me. <sighs> call Barry, tell him to meet me at the station. Area E. Okay. 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 Do it now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sandra called me over to her place. She claims to be chief's intern. On getting there, she starts harassing me. Are you trying to be funny or what? How can you say woman's trying to harass you? But she did. Okay. She did. Look, I'm going to take this thing up, okay? I'm going to sue her. Seriously. Now you listen to me. Fine, I know she tried seducing you and you rejected and she got upset. That's why she's trying to deal with you. But let me tell you something. Nobody in this part of the world will ever believe a woman is trying to seduce you. Really? Yeah. So the world we live in actually regards men as bad and women as good. So I would personally advise you to just move on with your life and forget about it, let it die. Besides, you were the one that went to our house knowing fully well that her husband wasn't around. So. Just answer my question. Listen, Caroline. I have had a very exciting day, which I can't even appreciate, okay? So the last thing I need right now is anyone to upset me. Really? Really? Do you know how upset I am right now? Huh? Jude, you left me in the middle of a party I organized for you. So another woman has just to ask for sex. Jude, 
Is it that I'm not good enough for you? Huh? Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe what? That was all I can remember. You have to believe me. You know what? You're going back to work. They cannot mistreat you and get away with it. No. No, they can't. Seriously. Honey, I'm solidly behind you, legally and otherwise. All right? Now, that's the wife I married. That's the woman I paid her bright price. Oh, oh, oh please. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. I love you. I love you too. Okay, I'll just go for your breakfast. Okay? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Barry. Barry? Yeah. You're early. Uh, I invited him over. <sighs> I don't intend to take this lightly. Barry, what's going on again? What are you planning with my wife this time? Not we. Your wife suggested that we. He's so are... chief and his wife, Sandra, to court. What? Okay. But I thought you said that I should let this whole thing go. How can both of you are taking love again? We can't always allow the rich get away with this all the time. I mean, we're learned. Skillful and legally equipped to turn this case around in our favor. Huh? I can't just sit and watch one neat tweet of a woman turn, turn the fortune of my family into, into a nightmare. I mean, just... I know. <laughs> okay. At least, now you believe me, so... <laughs> we're going to court, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to court. We're, we're going to court? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Uh-huh. Less than 10 minutes, we'll be set to conduct your interview, okay? Okay, ma'am. I hope you will take credentials. Okay, ma'am, please hold on, let me reconfirm. Um, you asked for BSc, yeah. industrial training certificates, and NYSC, right? Okay, yeah, great. It's okay. Good morning, you go now. Oh, yeah, let's go, follow me. Ah, good day, sir. What are you still doing here? With due respect, sir, I work here and I am here to fulfill my daily duties as the director of AGS. Don't play games with me, boy. Don't you ever! You no longer work here. Okay? Oh, okay. I get it. I get your game. You want to go to court, right? Fine! Go out 
us we shall go. But first, you must leave my premises. You no longer work here. Leave my premises. You have been fired. Sir, it's not clear to me what exactly I did. It's not clear to you. It will be made clear to you when we get to the courts. Leave my premises. I want to repeat it the second time. Nonsense. Oh, you are the, you are the See, criminal. He's a rapist. You should be the one behind that. Oh, 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 just look at you. Oh, you shameless chief. A rapist. Shameless chief. How can a same man be attacking a witness? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I said, come down. Oh, chief. What kind of rubbish is that? He just thank you, God, because I'm in a good mood today. Me, I would have beat him. I cannot stand the unruly behavior of your witness here. Honestly, my lord, I would prefer you bring out Mr. Jude out here so that he can witness what is going on here. Because putting him in the golden room doesn't make sense to me. I'm not comfortable with that. But uh, you must proceed. What is it? Because I'm, I'm saying the truth. Because I'm saying the truth. It's should, it should, it should not come back here. They should just keep him in that hotel room. You may continue. It was on the 13th of October. That, that, that day was around, I think, 11, exactly 11, 12 a.m. Mr. Jude came to the house, so he now asked me whether um, Chief was around. I said no. Then he now gave me money and asked me to go and buy a recharge card for him. When I now came back, Mr. Jude had gone. I was not hearing Madame's voice from upstairs crying. That hey oh, that Jude has raped her oh, hey you know. And I ran upstairs to, to go and see her. So, what did you do? I, I immediately called my boss now, Chief Alfred. Where was he at the time? He, he, he traveled that same day, earlier that same day. Oh, I see. My lord. From his utterances, I could feel a hopeless and a helpless fellow who is trying to make extra cash for his extravagant lifestyle. I mean, a man with two wives and six children would do everything possible to make extra money. Obviously, the 40,000 salary per month is absolutely doing nothing for him. I could feel your desperation, young man. But let me tell you something. You're committing what is called felony, right? By adhering to the instructions of your boss. So I would advise you to speak the truth so that you'll be found. Objection, your lordship! The defense counsel is trying to blackmail the witness. Objection overruled. Continue, counsel. Thank you, my lord. I believe that could be all for now. Felicia, you claim Mr. Jude harassed you sometimes. Not some time ago. All time, he constantly touches me often. Because I want to keep to my job, I have to pretend everything is all right. He's attempted to rape me twice during office hours. Recently, he threatened that if I don't concord to his demand, he would sack me. Hmm. Okay, so I believe you were enjoying this all along. Or did Sandra pay you to say all Objection, your lordship! Counsel is plotting blackmail here. He should allow the witness to speak for herself and not put words in her mouth. It is called cross-examination, in case you don't know. This case will be adjourned to fourth of next month. I believe by then, both parties might have obtained substantial evidence to give credence to their claims. Cut!
But like I told you before, I am going to handle it. You see, we lawyers do have our price tags, even with our cleverness. So let me handle it, please. We have to do something about him, and very fast. I understand, Chief. I understand you. Please. Let me handle this my way. Trust me. From the look of things, I think we are on our way to victory, if you ask me. You think so? Yeah. She's probably paid all her workers to testify. This is exactly what we witnessed in the court today. Um, no doubt. They are used to the pattern. Along the way, they are going to slip off subconsciously. And it will be to our own advantage. I wish I could strangle that Sandra right now. What type of wish is she? Mm. I have no idea. Make sure she's okay. Yeah, maybe something she had. Um, well, I have to leave now. Very. Thank you very much, okay? I really appreciate it. Oh, come on. I'm with you on this, okay? Thank you. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm looking. You Sonny. Well <laughs> you did a very great job today. Well done. <laughs> Adam, thank you. You're welcome. But I think I still need to be rewarded. Excuse me? I paid you. Anna, but you said that you would add any other thing I want. Oh, oh I remember. So what is this other thing? What is it? Adam. Hmm? <laughs> Talk now. Ah, ma, you need to experience me. Oh. Hey, I can wire. That's even why my wife have not left me. You can wire? Yes, ma. What does that mean? Wire now. Wire. Oh. You want to have sex with me. Sonny, do you realize that I'm your boss's wife? Okay, I remember. Okay, madam, no problem. Now, when Oga comes back, I will tell him the whole truth. How you brought Mr. Jude here so that you can have your way with him and sent us away. Madam, see, let's not even beat around the bush. You're a very pretty woman. Me too, I've been eyeing you since. Let me too do the do now. Nobody will know about it. Okay, 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 okay. I can see that you're trying to blackmail me. But it, it's not a problem. You want a wire, right? Yes, ma'am. No problem. I think my body needs a bit of reconnection. Ah, that's it. 
<laughs> no problem. I'll text you the venue, okay? Hey, Madame for the wire. Uh, okay, let me quickly go and uh, freshen up. Mm. It's quite clear when they came prepared. Mm. I can't believe that Chief would go as far as contracting the sub hubs to come tell lies in court. I mean, which man chooses money over the truth and integrity? Who? That's exactly why people end up in poverty and viciously stagnated to only the dreams of, of, of their masters. I bet you, when he's done with him, he'll dump him like a piece of trash that he is. I swear, I feel like you're strangling that man right oh, now. No. Oh, come on. Baby, you only be making things complicated. Huh? Babe, can't you see that things are already complicated? Yeah. I know. But we're peaceful people. We're not known for war. Well, maybe that'll teach the next line of people who want to tell lies in court a lesson. Yeah. Baby, I'm your wife. You should listen to me. We can't afford to soil our hands, please. Huh? I mean, let's just take our chances and we could actually win this thing amicably in court. Please. Where are you going to? Where are you, where are you going? Babe! This afternoon about the murder case by the management of some many hotels involving one of your staff by a name Sonny Eka Dominic. What? What happened to Sonny? Well, according to the receptionist, um, he died a few minutes after checking into the hotel this afternoon. What? Sonny is dead? I was actually... I just want you to know that we're in this together. Don't let your anger get a hold of you, else you just put us all in trouble. I was just being optimistic. I expect you to act like it. Huh? I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. And Dibio, what are you waiting? Let the investigation begin immediately. Well, my main and high, we are already on it, Chief. Good. Good. But, um... But what? But, Chief, something doesn't seem to add up. There is something not clear about this whole situation. How do you mean? You know, as at the time the hotel management informed us, and the time my main came in, we couldn't find the body of Sonny anywhere. What? Yes. Oh, I see. Let's get a picture. Did you? Yes, sir. 
I think I know who is responsible for Sonny's death. Really? Yes. And I'm going to help you find him. Oh. Yes. I will find him. Good evening, Chief Alfred. Barrister, I'm glad you couldn't make it. I'm not really happy doing this. <laughs> Barrister, there comes a time in a man's life that he has to abandon those talking pests that hinders progress and growth. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm actually here for what you're offering. You can keep your sermon for another day. I'm not interested. Barrister, this is 10 million naira. I'm sure with this money, life is good again. Um. You're far too kind. I, I just want to say thank you very much for this. I really appreciate it. That's all right. That's all right. Barrister, remember our agreement. You have to stay clear, completely clear from this case. I'm sure. I'm very sure you love your wife very well. Don't worry, um, that won't be necessary for now. But um, I have to take my leave now. Good night, Barista. Mrs. Carroll. Go ahead and open it. You have no idea how important this news is to me and my husband. This is such a relief. <laughs> and your husband will be happier. I bet he will. <laughs> so why don't you call him and bring the eyes? <laughs> okay, I will. I'll do that just now. Good, good. And um, congratulations once again. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Holly, guess what? <laughs> it's positive. The test results just confirmed that I'm six weeks pregnant. Wait, you're pregnant? <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Honey. Hold on, baby. I'm okay. going to call you back. Yes, someone is at the door. Who are those? Honey, who, who, are, who are those? Baby, it's the police. It's the police. It's the police. The police? W why? Why is the police there? Start coming home now. Honey, what do they want? What do they put? Honey? The police? Hey, what's wrong again? I need to go.
My husband didn't kill anyone. Huh? Well, that's a claim. You'll be here to prove it otherwise. You can't do that. Oh yes, I can. You think I'm afraid of you? I know you're a lawyer, but that does not give you the leverage to get him off our hook. He's the only suspect. How can he be the only suspect? Huh? The disease works for someone. He has colleagues. He has a family. What if someone decides to kill him and align it to my husband just because he falsely testified against him in court? Huh? Well, that's the hook. That's the hook. Maybe he killed him. Hence, the judge entreated you guys to look for more evidence to prove your case. Officer. Officer, why are you doing this? Officer, why are you doing this no, now? No, why are you doing this? Don't get all emotional. I'm not tripping. Fine. Just, just do whatever I have to do. Fine. Um, yes. Don't allow her to see her husband until I say otherwise. Really? Yes. guys on this anymore. Barry, why are you saying this? Barry, don't talk like this now, please. Look, you've started it already. Just, just finish it, please. Huh? Like they say, soldier go, soldier come. You are a lawyer, a very clever one at that. Why don't you give it your best? After it's your husband we're talking about here. Plead with you to understand. <laughs> Barry. I see they paid you the kind of money you've never had, right? Okay. Come on, how can you talk like this? I have a trip with my family, all right? And this whole court case might clash, so I better disintegrate. Papi, I don't expect you to do this. I mean, this is not right. This is your close friend we're talking about here. I mean, you cannot abandon him now. He needs you. As for me, I am done. Excuse me. B Barry, Barry, this is unfair. Oh, God. He refused to grant you bail. Chief Alfred. I'm sure he wants to take some care. I guess that's exactly what he wants to do. There's something I must tell you. Something that would help you get me out of here. Okay. Really? What's it about? I'm sorry. I should have told you this. Well, I felt that the past should just remain in the past. It's okay. Just tell me. Go ahead. What is it? You step too much. Who is that a radiant beauty like you? How about dinner on me? 
Oh, okay, before you say anything. Before you say anything. I'm a Nigerian. Um, I'm here for the seminar. Uh, my name is Jude. Hi. I'm Zina. Zina? Yeah. Nice name. Uh, thank you. I'm here for a short photo shoot for a telecom company in Nigeria. Wow, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Wow. Wrap it up. So, 7 p.m.? Okay. Right, good. So, same place, huh? Meet here. Fina, please, we can't do this right now, okay? We have been together for a while now. Look, we are going to get married once I am financially stable. But please, this pregnancy, we have to keep it. I will rally around here and there and get enough money to pay for your bride price. But please, let's just take it from there, please. <laughs> Jude, you are very funny. A top model like me. Eh? Get married because of pregnancy. Now I know you want to kill my baby. On the contrary, no. Listen, 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 Judge. I can't make babies right now. I can't even marry you now. You need to make money. Judge, you need to be man enough. Now, tell me. Where are you going to get money to satisfy my needs? Where? Where? Hmm? Listen, I'm at the peak of my career and I cannot let anything jeopardize it. I'm not ready for a pregnancy. I'm not ready to spoil my shape. Tina, come on. Don't say that. Jude. You're just a personal assistant. I even make more money than you do. So tell me, how? How are we going to start? Where? You see? You need to make money. Yes. I'm with you because, you know, you look good. You know what you do to me? You know how you make me more. The sex is it's fantastic. It's good. And I can also use you for the media as well. <laughs> but hey, babe, this girl is not ready to lose her ship. So, what happens to the pregnancy? Which pregnancy? You forget about that pregnancy. I've flushed it. What? Dude, later. Fina! It's 
so you guys be with me. Yes. Hence, I was financially little for her. <laughs> so how come she's now a chief's wife? So on our last trip to Durban, I went to chief as his PA. This was before he promoted me to the marketing team. Then if I became the marketing manager, Fina, the softest as Sandra. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> she was Fina, now Sandra. And now she wants me back by her. I don't want that. And she can never get you as long as I'm still. I'll do everything, anything possible to get you out of here, okay? I promise. Anthony, please, wait for me in the car. So this is you. Happy going about your normal life like, like, like there's nothing wrong? Huh? Well, if there is something wrong with you, there's obviously nothing wrong with me. You killed some. Jailed my husband. And you think all is well? Uh huh? Look. This is Caroline. And I'll prove to you that Jude is my husband and forever will be. Oh, Sandra, leave my husband. Please! Leave my husband alone, Sandra! Please, please, please! Can you just stop talking about him like he's some trophy or something? He's nothing but my leftover. But you wanted him back. I don't. No, you do. Oh, you think I don't know your game plan, huh? You want to frustrate him and leave him so he would have no other option but to run back into your arms. But hell no. You will have to kill me first. And I say a very big amen to that. I have better places to go. Just look at her. She missed them. I forgot you said you were coming over today. And you forgot the part where you told me to pick up your keys from your neighbor. That's true. <laughs> and why are you looking so stressed, tired, and. And I've also had a very long day. Oh, darling. Okay, you go fresh enough, and mm -hmm. I'll get you dinner. <laughs> Thank God you came. I really needed someone around. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Uncle. I I called you earlier. Yes, Carolina. I saw it. Even my wife told me about your court case. Who is this fellow that is tormenting my little niece? Is he aware that you have an Uncle, I bet he doesn't know. He's, he's, he's one chief, um, Alfred Williams. Is he getting Yes. Alfred yes, Chief Alfred Williams. Uncle, eh, him and his superstar, superstar wife wants to kill my husband for me. Oh. Eh? 
and, and they will not succeed. Uncle, do, do you realize he sponsored my company to run the election? Even if I think wait, he's the reason why I am the majority leader at the National Assembly. How dare you pick a fight with him or Carolina? Listen to me, sister girl. Rule me out of this your stupid fight with oh. Chief Alfred William or so. Carolina! Oh, oh, uncle! 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 Oh God. What do I do now? Huh? Everybody seems to be dancing to his tune. We definitely want to win this case. But now with my years of legal experience in, in the law court, I have never lost a case. And this will not be an exception. Sister, mm. what is it? You don't want me here or what? You don't like the food. It took you hours to take a shower and show up here and... You've not even touched your food. What is wrong? That's by the way, where's your husband? <laughs> Why are you crying? Your brother is in police detention awaiting trial. Police detention? How? We should be in court on the fourth. Exactly 11 days from today. Yes. Believe me, Omar, he didn't kill anyone, neither did he harass Sandra Williams. Wait a minute. Sandra Williams? Yes. That name sounds familiar. Sandra Williams, the top model. Yes, she's the one. Do you know her? I'm so disappointed. Does she know you? I just enrolled with her modeling academy. You did what? Huh? Sister. I'll kill you if you ever step your foot into that office again. Sister, I spent over 100 k for chasing that form. Okay. Like I said, I do not ever see your feet in that office. Did you hear me? To the close of work. And what's this suitcase all about? Oh, Chief, I'm going to Paris. Actually, my flight leaves in an hour time. Something urgent popped up and it needs my urgent attention. And what could that be? Paris Fashion Week. Chief, you know I'm a top model. And as a top model, I need to be there for some preliminary arrangements. I'll be back in about 10 days. What? 10 days? That's too much. Do you realize that the court hearing is billed for tomorrow morning? Oh, 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 that's true. But, um, Chief, 
Chief, with your connection, hmm, why don't you just um, adjourn the case till the 18th? Hmm? Chief, Chief. You know, there's mm. nothing I cannot do for my angel. <laughs> Chief, Chief. Thank you. But on one condition. What? Oh, <laughs> Chief, Chief. Ah, a quick one wouldn't be a bad idea. No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. Besides, I'm, I'm tired from the day's work. I'm fucked out. See, baby, you know what you do for me? Hmm? When you get to Paris, take a hot, nude snapshot of yourself. Hot, nude snapshot. And send it back to me. I want to see you like nature. Okay? That will make me happy. Chief, do you care about my well-being? Do you care about me? I do. What do you want? You want my money? No, no, my... no, 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 no. I want sex. I want you to dig me. Do me, Chief. Do me. Do me. And how are you and my baby doing? Fine, I guess. We're just trying to be strong for you. I know, baby. Same here, okay? So, are you ready for tomorrow? There won't be any tomorrow. The hearing is no longer for tomorrow. It's, it's now 18th. Why? I guess your former boss, Chief Alfred, is dead those involved. Chief, I don't know fuck, I have a bad feeling about this whole thing now. Why can't this man just drop dead and sleep and die? No, not Chief. I'd rather Sandra should sleep and die. Yes. Do you know what? Do you know my uncle, Senator Bernard, said I shouldn't call his name in all of this? You won't believe this. Hey. You know what? Yeah. God. Are you serious? Yeah. have you been up to? Nothing really. Um, can I visit him? Or at least join you to the court tomorrow? Yes, you can visit him, but tomorrow is not the court. It's on the 18th. Oh, really? Yes. And miss, can you not go anywhere until it's necessary? For oh, sister? Do not go anywhere. Okay? Okay, sister. Jessica, what are you doing here? Jude, it's me, Fina. No, your name? Is Jezebel. I'm sorry for all of this. I still love you. Love. 
Does the devil love? Dude. I did all of this to get you back. Dude. Listen. Divorce your wife. And I will divorce Chief. And we can get back together again. You know what? We'll leave all of this. We'll leave this place. And then we'll go back to South Africa to rekindle our love. You must be really stupid to think that Atta jilted me for many years. Because I was, I didn't have any money. I would divorce my wife. For you? You're crazy. Hey, hey. Enough of the insults. All I wanted was money. And now, I have it in a bottomless. All the gigs here and there was because of money. Until I realized that I could get everything I wanted from Chief. Just divorce you. So that we can be together with you. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How can you see another one will come when, when the person that put it there is in detention? You knew how long it took us to even have this one. And now it's gone. Sister, please calm down. Oh? Doctor, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have to go now. Um, I will check you guys later. Okay. Carol, please. You need to relax. Okay? Take it easy. Relax, okay? Take it easy. It's my fault. It's my fault. If I wasn't in here while she was out there stressing herself, this would have happened. But still, the chances of dying is even after this. Oh, she She's so just so that you can let you know. <laughs>
Just miscarried, eh? Look, I'm fine. No, I, I'm not. no, I'm strong. I'm strong. Besides, doctor, my husband will be appearing in court in less than an hour, and I have to be there. Doctor, I have to go and represent my husband. I have to be there. I'm sorry, doctor. I have to go. I'm sorry. Go, Carol. No, 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 no. You don't have to go. Sister. Sister. Looks familiar. Oh. Are you not Sonny Ekan Dominic? I think you're mistaking me for someone else. No! I recognize you. You work for Chief Alfred. You're supposed to be dead! Look, look. My, my husband is, is unlawfully detained just because of you. What happened? Why? I don't think you allowed your brain and body to heal. Oh, please don't call me silly or sick. I know what I'm talking about. Also, where is she? Your sister. Oh, she left. She said she can't stay. I uh, you know your brother will be appearing in court. Oh, that's true. You have to excuse me. No, 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 look, look. You are going nowhere until you prove me otherwise. No, 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 look. So you're not dead? Look, my family cannot suffer because of you and then Chief. No, 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 so you're, you're going with me. No, you're, you're going with me. You're going with me. You're going with me. What is going on here? See, this is this man. Hey, hey, wait, wait, Who is he? See, I will hmm? explain everything to you in private. Hmm? We don't have all the time. Come hmm. See, come with me. Okay, wait for me, I'm coming here. Can you just wait for me? Look, enough. Enough of all this game. Look, it's either you tell me all that you know and have become, or, 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 or I raise an alarm. And, and what's this? That's a check of five million naira. Given to me by the same man I have served diligently and taken instructions from my entire life. But I didn't know I would end up the victim. Look, I don't understand you. Young man, don't waste my time. Just go straight to the point. Why did you fake your own death? I mean, who is responsible? Who bribed you? You're not even listening to me. You're not, you're not hearing me out. I will tell you the whole truth. But on one condition. No, you know, you, you wouldn't give me conditions. Because you're not in my shoes. You, you're, you're, not, you're not in my shoes. Nothing for nothing. Young woman, I know exactly how you feel because of all you've been through. But this condition is the only way we can get back her loved ones alive. Okay. So, what is it about? 
I have a seven-year-old daughter. She has a heart condition. And as we speak, she's admitted in the hospital. We need five million naira for her surgery. And chief promised to pay the bills. If only I would testify against your husband. Fake my own death. And abscond. This is the third time chief is giving me a check that will bounce. And I'm sick and tired of it. All I want right now is to get my daughter back, hale and hearty. Now you'd either choose to be the angel sent from heaven, or... Or what? Or what? Sister, don't listen to him. We have only got 15 minutes before the court session begins. And Omar, 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 just hold on again. Young man, how do I trust that you're telling me the truth? Because I have just revealed one of Chief Alfred Williams' biggest secrets to you. Mr. Sonny, I'm glad that you actually agreed to testify against Chief Alfred and his wife, Sandra. Considering that they failed to keep to their own side of the bargain, knowing fully well that your daughter is dying. Now, please, would you tell the whole world what transpired between you and Chief Alfred? <laughs> Here comes the unfortunate hero. So you couldn't be here early enough to save your almighty husband. Barrister Caroline. So, um, I guess you brought your supposed witness for the defense of your husband. A man who cares less about your feelings or emotions. A man who has no iota of regret for sexually molesting my client and even killing Chief's lawyer staff. Really, Caroline? <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Obviously, you know only what you were being told. Hmm? Very soon. It will all be over. Yes, my so dear. It's over. It is already over. Already. Already over. I'm sure you came down here with all your properties to join your husband in the cell. What an experience it will be. What a cell experience it will be. A tale to tell. <laughs> Justice will surely prevail. Justice already did. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Sir, I'm the wife of the accused and also his defense attorney. Madam, where have you been? You were nowhere to be found in court today when your husband was paraded. We even tried reaching you through the number he gave to us. All efforts proved abortive. Sir, I'm here now. Please, can I just see the judge? I'm sorry. The judge is no longer on set. Please, sir. Please. Please, sir. We've gone through a lot today. Just because of this case. Just 
Do us this one favor. We will forever be grateful and indebted to you. Please, sir, please. Please, Barrister. I'm not supposed to give out the Joyce itinerary immediately after he caught Satan. Oh, but... She's Alfred Williams. Ask me to testify against Mr. Chief. For a job promotion, he also promised to give me the sum of five million naira for my daughter's surgery. If I would frame my death and go on exile, but look at where we are. None of that has been kept. I'm sorry for. The conspiracy. I regret all I all I've done. That's why I'm here today to testify against Chief Alfred Williams and his wife. They want it all. Well, I pray nothing for them. Or death. This is tangible evidence. Your Honor, this is actually the reason I came late to court. As you can see, my husband is innocent. Chief and his wife lied against my husband. They framed my husband, Your Honor. You have to do something, please. I think you. Give me, if you give me some few minutes. Hello, Commissioner Nauru. The case just turned sour. Get your boys to arrest Alfred Williams immediately. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are such a brave woman. Please. Thank you. Okay. So, I'll see you, okay? I'll, I'll make the transfer as soon as I can. Five million, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Good day, sir. Oh. Yes, gentlemen. How may I help you? I hope you're Chief Alfred Williams. Chief Alfred Onomono Williams. The one and only. We are from the State Investigative Department. Yes. On the order of the Commissioner of Police. Yes. Chief, you are under arrest. For what? For forceful allegation of Mr. Jude Pajok and for violation of human rights. False alarm, assault and deliberate act of bribery. You have the right to remain silent, or whatever you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. This way, please. Let this me way. call my lawyer. I'm sorry, you have to do that. This way, please. I want to call my lawyer. This way. Sir. This way. I got married to my third wife, Sandra, because she was beautiful and she was a celebrity. I love her so much. I came to find out later 
that Sandra was an ex-lover to one of my staffs, Jude. As time went on, she insisted that I promote Jude in my company. When I refused, she threatened me with divorce. So I have to succumb. I promoted Jude to a very senior staff of my company. But I was not comfortable. I didn't know that he was going to fight back. Interesting. So why did you fake Mr. Sonny Ekan's death? I came back home one day. In the midst of all these troubles. And Sonny told me that my wife has agreed to sleep with him. And I thought that was too much for me. I decided to pay Sonny some good amount of money to fake his death. I wanted to use it to implicate Jude. But I didn't know it would turn out this way. I didn't know. I regret everything. Everything. I am so ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. This is my verdict. That Mr. Jude Pachok is hereby found not guilty of all charges levied against him. That Chief Alfred Williams is hereby sentenced to two years imprisonment and to pay a compensating sum of 20 million naira to Mr. Jude Pachok. All right. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Do you? You want ice cream? You want? Uh, okay. She loves ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> she loves ice She's cream. so cute. I know she will. Kids do. Oh, well, Sonny. <laughs> thank you for everything. Oh, come on. I should be the one thanking you. Mm -hmm. Paying for my daughter's surgery, that, that means everything to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. It's my defeat for your surgery. Hello, everyone. Mr. Dominic, I need you in my office to sign uh, this child document of your daughter. And also to fill the form, the surgery form, from my partners in India. Oh, right away. By the way, oh, Cindy, Cindy, thanks here, right? The uncle. All right. Um, for the eleventh thought, thank you very much. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. You don't it's know okay. how much this means to you. Right? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Cindy, <laughs> Kerry, you're cool. Yeah, I know. I'm happy to see you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Black <Bloody> girl. <laughs> no. Of course. She's so cute, right? Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs>